everyone. We are dealing with the chapter motion and laws of motion, isn't it? In the last class, we have studied about Newton's first law of motion, Newton's second law of motion, and also Newton's third law of motion. Okay, in the last class, we have dealt with new, uh, law of conservation of momentum, isn't it? So, I think all of you got it. Okay, look at here. Here we can do an activity. Okay, look at here. Here you can see five balls. These five balls are hung using a thread. Okay, here A, B, C, D are five balls that have equal masses, that have same masses. Okay, let it be. The ball A is one kilogram. Okay, let it be one kilogram. Okay, I am going to move this. Uh, I am going to move this, oh, this ball to one side okay what happened here i'm going to move this ball a to one side at that time what happened here while, while i am releasing the ball it will be moving with a particular velocity okay while i am releasing this ball this ball will be moving with a particular velocity okay when this ball a hits b each ball will be pushed off okay once again, when this ball A hits B, at that time each ball will be pushed off. Okay, is it clear? Suppose the ball A is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. The ball A is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second and E will be pushed off. Okay, E will be pushed off with the same velocity the velocity here is also 10 meter per second is it clear okay instead of this i am taking two balls instead of this i am taking two balls that is a and b okay a and b to one side and releasing the balls at that time we uh, we can see b and a alone moves okay at that time here b and a alone moves okay if i am taking a b c to one side what happened here this c d e alone moves okay is it clear then what is the explanation of conservation of momentum that is what is explained in conservation of momentum that is law of conservation of momentum is it clear next Next topic that is circular motion. Okay. Are you here about circular motion? Okay. Then what is mean by circular motion? Can you give an explanation for circular motion? The motion of an object along a circular path is known as what? Circular motion. Once again, the motion of an object along a circular path is known as what? Circular motion motion is it clear look at here here an object is moving in a circular path okay here an object is moving in a circular path okay can you tell me the speed of this here an object is moving in a circular path with uniform speed okay here an object is moving in a circular path with a uniform speed can you tell me the velocity of this object can you tell me the velocity of this object changes here here speed is uniform or here the speed is the speed of the object is same okay then what's in the case of velocity then look at here here the object is moving in this direction okay here the object is moving in this direction okay look at the movement of this object here direction is changing okay here direction is changing isn't it already we have studied velocity is a vector quantity then what do you mean what do you mean by vector quantity vector quantity means it have both magnitude and direction okay object is moving with uniform speed there is no change in magnitude okay here the object is moving with uniform speed there is no change in its magnitude okay so here the change is only in direction so what happens here velocity changes 
when velocity changes acceleration takes place when velocity is changing the acceleration is takes place here the object is having acceleration here the object is having acceleration then can you tell me the direction of acceleration can you tell me the direction of acceleration imagine a situation we are taking a stone imagine a situation in this situation we are taking a stone okay that the, that stone is tied on a string and whirl it okay Con uh, once again imagine a situation we are taking a stone that stone is tied using a string and we are whirl it okay for that stone to move who is giving the force for moving the stone who is giving the force here where did the stone get the required force to move it is provided by our hand okay the force that is provided by by our hand through the string is it clear for for the movement of the stone in a circular path it required a force okay that force is given by our hand through the string okay once again for the movement of the stone it required a uh, force that force is given through given by our hand by using a string is it clear so can you tell me the direction of acceleration here the acceleration is towards the center of the object okay the acceleration is uh, towards the center of the objects here okay the direction of acceleration is towards the center of the circle towards the center through string okay that that acceleration is called as what centripetal acceleration that type of acceleration is known as what centripetal acceleration okay here you can see a definition that is given in your textbook what's the definition the acceleration experienced by an object in a circular motion along the radius towards the towards the center of the circle is known as what centripetal acceleration so i think all of you got clear what is mean by centripetal acceleration okay the force that creates a centripetal acceleration is called as what that is known as centripetal force okay centripetal acceleration and centripetal force are directed towards the center okay is it clear look at here this is an object this is an object with mass m okay and it is moving with a velocity v and this one is the radius r okay so the formula of centripetal force is can be written by using m v square by r the centripetal force can be written by using the formula m v square by r here m is the mass and v is the velocity and r is the radius okay is it clear so when the stone is in a circular motion the force that the hand exerted through the string becomes the centripetal force is it clear so i think all of you got cleared about what is centripetal force okay then what is centripetal acceleration also okay in your textbook you can see a question what will happen to an object if it loses centripetal force while it is in a circular motion whether that object fall down directly on the ground no then what will happen to it it will thrown off along the tangent okay that object is thrown off along the tangent if the object is in this position the tangent may be like this okay if the object is in this position the tangent may be like this okay is it clear it is an important question this question is in a hammer throw before the hammer is let go of why is it whirled around along a circular path what is the reason for that have you seen hammer throw have you seen hammer throw before throwing it it is whirled in a circular path okay what may be the reason for that it is done to get the required force so that object will be moved to a greater distance 
then can you give a definition for uniform circular motion if an object moving along a circular path covers equal distances in equal intervals of time it is said to be in uniform circular motion so if the object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time in a circular path that is known as what circular uniform circular motion okay then can you give examples for circular motion then can you give examples for uniform circular motion the motion of the fan the motion of the second hand of clock okay so you can find more examples for it okay so these are about today's class i think all of you got clear it's a simple topic so our chapter is over so complete your notes thank you